Okay, I think I'm uh, <coughs> recording. Hello everybody and welcome to weekly drawing retrospective number 10. I didn't actually think of thought long ago I was going to reach this number, but uh, here I am, number 10, and uh, November just uh, started, and uh, we did. October comes to an end Finally it was a bit of a struggle for me by the end, but eventually I managed to do a sketch in ink every day and uh, Yeah, here they are uh, I'm gonna present them one by one uh, In some days I did quite a bunch in others. I did only one so Yeah So this is the one with the day one I just started off you know then a little bit clairement here <coughs> I hadn't really drawn on paper for quite a while now and you know using a pencil is pretty easy because you know you can go very smooth in the beginning very fine lines that you can barely see but with you know with with liners and markers and whatnot it's pretty scary you know after not doing this thing for so long you kind of get, uh, you know, a bit of a fright. Cause even with this, you know, with this first sketch, I was very, very frightened to, you know, put a line down. But eventually, you know, I kind of subdue that fright and uh, managed to push through. So yeah, it just, uh, you know, <coughs> when I first started, I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna do it like uh, Mac every day. But then uh, that feeling kind of turned away and. Uh, by the end of it, uh, you'll see I only drew a lot of, you know, chicks, you know, pinups of uh, ladies, foxy ladies, to be more precise. So yeah, this is day one, and uh, now I'm gonna switch over to day two again. Still, some mecha, you know, had a, a little bit of a samurai uh, theme going on here. I was thinking of, you know, of how the Gundams look and uh, try to kind of go for that look. Although I did have had some other ideas in my mind that I didn't really put in practice. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty hard to, you know, <sighs> you know, but by the looks of it, I wasn't really that organized and the, the, th the truth is it wasn't really that organized, you know, I was maybe a bit too, <coughs> maybe a bit too ambitious. So yeah, day three obviously kind of succumbed and uh, did a pinup of this lady. Went for a, you know, sort of a like, heavy metal magazine look with her. And what I really like, you know, uh, trying is... Uh, you know, using the lines for uh, for the shadows and the darker areas, it kind of really makes it pop. I think uh, this is day four, and day four I can have a somewhat of a better idea of what I was looking for, and I thought of these sort of like uh, how can I put it like demonized mechs that I mean they're mecha but they kind of look like demons you know like you know big dinosaur things although even this one wasn't like really what was I, uh, what I was looking for eventually I do get to make a sketch of a, uh, of a mech that comes up you know I think it's one of the best that I did and it's the last that I did afterwards I didn't really do other other robots uh, or mechanical things. Actually, mechanical things. Yeah, there's there's one a bit later on. You'll see. But for now, you know, uh, you know, robot-wise, uh, uh, this kind of like the before the last one. Uh, day five, I thought, you know, let's do a uh, sketch of rouge, and I started doing and then I realized I screwed up the lips and uh, yeah the lips are pretty screwed up and their oval, their oval, the overall design isn't like <coughs> super good or anything you know it's uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not happy with this sketch 
not a metal. Of course, um, I tried to, you know, you know, say, okay, I'm gonna do the next sketch pair. Doesn't, don't really put uh, too too much thought in this, but it won't go away. I want to do a nice sketch, so I just thought, okay, I'm gonna try my luck. I'm gonna try my luck again. And in day six, I did try my luck again in the sketch. Yeah, I think it came out a bit better, although the expression is, uh, I would say, a bit more weird than the last one. But I do like uh, how this one came out, and uh, there's like no unnecessary detail on the face, so to speak, like with the lips on the previous one. And yeah, I, I think it's this one works better. If I, if I would put it in, you know. Uh, in digital and kind of flesh it out a bit better. There were only, you know, maybe a few things that I would change. Of course, I wanted to do like leather, you know, the highlights of the leather, you know, black leather on her um, on her outfit. But uh, I wasn't sure, you know, should I fill it up, fill it up in black? So I kind of left it white. But if I look at it now, yeah, I, I could have just fill up the, the areas with black and leave the white highlights white and it would have came out pretty nice of course then modify it afterwards you know what's what's done it's done and dusted and just moved forward day seven nothing too super special did i think one of the most random poses i could do of a sort of i don't know what it, this even is you know it's just a sexy chick with uh, some gloves giant gloves on and uh, they look a bit mechanical and a lot of pouches on her upper leg and uh, even on her upper arm so yeah nothing too super fancy here although yeah i, I did i remember uh, what i wanted to do here i was like thinking i want to do like you know a female character i want to put a lot of details only on the forearms and the lower and the legs but uh, yeah I know I, I have like a contrast you know like the body is super clean super slick there's not too many lines and yeah that's that's what I was going for here oh and now I see oh yeah she's some sort of demon elf whatever and I'm gonna switch to day 8 which I think it's a, yeah I think this this one is probably the worst sketch that I did in the whole uh, the whole season. I didn't even, even bother to finish it. That's how much I don't really like it. You know, just sketched it out and leave it as a sketch. I don't even like. I'm just gonna pass forward. I'm. I'm. I am ashamed of this. <coughs> so yeah, day eight. Um, thought I would go like super simple and did a character which eventually I'm gonna show up in a comic or all although this is like I think that it's like the first sketch I did of her I had this idea for quite a while the inspiration for her kind of came when I was playing you know uh, champions online uh, I think more than I think about 10 years ago maybe maybe less but it's, it's kind of close to that, that number so yeah this was day eight and oh, and this is what I did in oh, so this I actually did it as a warm up, sort of like, before doing this. And this is like the definitive stuff that I wanted to like a, a demonized looking, you know, mecha. And this one I really can't like how it came out. It's, it's pretty nice, it's not perfect, obviously, there's a lot of mistakes. And sorry, um, but. It was something that I was ex trying to explore, and I think that's fireworks. If I don't know if you can hear that, but yeah, um, this was the thing I was looking for. Uh, uh, those eight days ago, and finally I had cheated. And this is kind of like the last Mac after after this. There's not anymore. I just went for you know pinup of uh, sexy ladies that are from different species and races and whatever so this is day nine i did an, uh, an lv chick i was look thinking well i didn't really like do like a full 
character like from top to bottom, you know, top of the head, bottom of the feet. So might as well do this. Although it didn't really like fit in the page as you can see the sword isn't like uh, and the sword looks like crap. Gonna put more detail in this. Yeah. Uh, actually did a bunch of sketches in day nine. I remember now this was the second one. Another LV chick sitting down, being called blushy. And then I decided to do a portrait uh, type of picture. And did this. Now I was kind of going, I had a brush liner and I was thinking, well, I'm gonna use that for the hair. You know, might as well try it out. And uh, <coughs> I think I went a bit too wild on it. Uh, it's a bit of a mess, as you can see. Now I'll switch it to day 10. Uh, <coughs> I had this pose actually sketched uh, very rough, you know, very rough a uh, day ahead uh, for me to like finish when I got home from work. Um, as I look at it now, yeah, the neck is broken. Yeah, that's, that's very broken. It's not good. But anyway, uh, it was pretty simple, you know, just, uh, the, just the body and then uh, I thought, hey, what I don't I just had like pieces of armor on the on the thighs and on the head, you know, make it like a samurai uh, helmet and give her like a cool looking corset, you know, with some all sorts of weird, uh, I mean, weird, uh, you know, motifs and you know, have like uh, a nuance of gold leaf or whatever, you know. So yeah, pushing on to day 11, I think this is again one of a pretty, one of the randomest poses I did and the expression, you know, is like <laughs> pretty funny. Wasn't really feeling it in day 11 as I, <coughs> as I see. I was pretty tired in some days because, you know, I had to do these like uh, either when I finished up recording the previous you know, for the previous weekly drawing retrospectives and some I did, you know, afterwards before going to bed I was pretty, pretty panquished. Day 12, uh, this one I really like, it's pretty nice, although I should have added more black and, uh, you know, have more darker, dark areas. It's a, s some sort of a devil secretary chick. And this one I really like how it came up, it's, it's pretty nice, you know. Uh, if I would put this into digital, I think I would only like maybe. I actually no, I'd just color it straight ahead, you know. Adjust the levels and it would be perfect. Day 13 uh, wasn't so super lucky, you know. Day 13 uh, decided to do just a pretty basic uh, demon chick with uh, wings. The wings didn't fit in the page, so that kind of sucked. And just only a few details, you know, here and there. Nothing too much, so yeah, I'm just gonna pass on the next day. Actually, I did two sketches in day 13, yeah. So it seems maybe I noted the date, date incorrectly, seeing the next sketch. So yeah, this is, this is again a <coughs> another pretty simple sketch. Um, I wanted to try to see if I can make you know the boobies a bit more squashed and I think they came they came well, pretty weird I would say if I look at it right now. Although the picture as a whole you know I like it because it's clean but construction wise yeah, it could have been better. So yeah day 14 I didn't didn't note the page incorrectly another simple sketch I want to do you know a, uh, a girl character and uh, like have like one of those big 80s jackets you know that have like the uh, the sleeves you know they're like pretty big they're pretty big and uh, the collar is also pretty big <coughs> so yeah I 
I didn't really, because I saw on a, other people doing it, and like they picked like a, a theme for every day, and I didn't do that, because uh, I wanted to do Inktober so badly, I didn't do it like in the previous years, that uh, I just completely, you know, went full in, disorganized, and just, okay, well, I'm just gonna sketch with markers and whatever after not doing anything on paper for a very long time, so yeah, that kind of... I, I, I learned a lot from from this experience and I'm thinking of ordering uh, a few more sketchbooks and go and draw with pencil to get comfy with the paper again because I really liked Inktober. Day 15, uh, I did a this would be some sort of, you know, spacey bounty hunter chick with, again, with a lot of pouches and uh, she doesn't have as many belts, just only one and uh, those hold, uh, you know, the pouches for the, the, the guns <coughs> again went with something pretty simple and added a few details here and there this one came pretty nice, I did add like a background uh, square, you know, that background rectangle in the back uh, to kind of make it pop out, pop out a little bit I don't think it does too much but, yeah, I figured I might as well try it so, day 16 uh, drew this very alluring space captain, which is also an elf I was thinking about, you know, Admiral Nirvana, you know, maybe how how one of her co-workers would look, you know, one of her, you know, co-officer looking, maybe she's not like the only one uh, that's hot in the whole, you know, space navy that she's in, you know, and for those that do not know, Admiral Nirvana is a character of mine, which is a, you know, sort of a, a space LV chick with, you know, very pronounced chest and a very honey skimpy outfit and a big hat. Uh, day 17 again I wanted to fit an entire character in a page and uh, this is what came out. I really like this, it came out pretty nice. The outfit I was going for it did came out the way I did imagine it, you know, pretty simple, you know, a, a corset and leather boots and went for that uh, sort of, uh, you know, there was this chicken Van Helsing, you know, that uh, his sidekick, so to speak, that he, he fought alongside with, and that's the outfit I kind of thought about when I did this. And of course, she's some sort of squirrely girl, whatever. Uh, day 18, kind of kept the theme, you know, with the... Uh, um, not medieval, what the hell do you call that, because it's not medieval, you know, sort of like fantasy, whatever, gig. But the outfit here doesn't really stand out too much, but I assure you, I did have an idea of the outfit, but now looking at it, yeah, it's not really standing out. So yeah, passing on to day 19, uh, I think this is one of like the most simplest pictures I did took a bit of a reference here from a picture I saw on the internet but uh, what I wanted to do was like concentrate a bit on the back muscles and on the arm muscles and have like the, the, the back and the legs pretty clean, no lines and they really came out so what happened here was kind of like in the rule situation before so I decided well I'm gonna try my luck again and day 20, wait a minute, yeah. day 20, this is what came out. Um, instead of you know, just doing muscle things and whatever, decided to you know, make this chick a some sort of robotic demon, whatever, you know, when there's a lot of fire, you know, she's like engulfed in fire. And kind of did that. So, yeah, uh, keeping in with the <coughs> demon uh, thing, I did this. And day 21, you know, this chick that has a lot of horns on her head and a uh, flaming tail. Day 22, I had this pose in mind for quite a while. I actually did a little uh, 
scribble on one of the back of the other sketches. I don't really remember which one. And yeah, I wanted to do this, you know, very. This is a pose that's like in a one of the Spider-Man covers. I don't really remember. So yeah, I'm gonna move on. Day twenty. Wait a minute. Yeah, no, we're good. Day twenty-three. Uh, decided to do. You know, this is again a very random pose, and again, there's a lot of mistakes. One of the most prominent prominent one is the hand. It's broken and it's too big. The hand. It's huge. But I, I really like the overall sort of feel of the girl. I mean, she's happy and you know, jumping and whatever. I wanted to, to add a, uh, you know, the. I think I was listening to a uh, review or something about you know the new Spider-Man game, and it had a DLC of Black Cat. And, and I thought about, hey, why don't I, you know, dress this character in, uh, you know black cat's outfit and this is what happened day 24 you would say that this character is exactly this character and uh, well it's not this is a bunny girl this is a, a, a foxy girl you know and again didn't really had too much of an idea of what to do and just went up <coughs> a very weird outfit uh, but the sketch overall, you know, it was simple. I managed to f make it pretty fast and um, go to bed because I think I was, I mean, I think I was pretty tired all along the way. Now, uh, day 25, I decided, you know, this is a big break in the whole chain of, of things. I kind of decided to have, have a break and uh, I drew a truck and I took a little bit of, you know, I mean inspiration, I took a little bit of reference from a, there's, I was listening to, I can't remember the name of the song, but it was, there were a lot of clips from, you know, movies with uh, trucks, and there was one scene in uh, Over the Top, and it was a truck, like, was parked on the side of the road, and, you know, the angle was pretty nice, and I said, it, why the hell don't I draw that? And I kind of took, found the uh, picture, a still picture of that scene, and uh, drew that. But of course, it's like the only truck I did, the only vehicle I did. Excuse me, besides the Max, and uh, from this point onward, I switched back to chicks. I only had six days to go, and I said, okay, I'm just gonna push it through you know, with the easiest things that I can do. And day 26 uh, brought to life this bunny girl. Nothing too super special about this. You can actually see the construction line of the head over there. Uh, wanted to do, you know, her holding her hands in the pockets of the hoodie she's wearing, but mm, I don't know if that came out too well. I still gotta practice that a little bit more. Now, day 27 I did a uh, side view here of this uh, fox girl character and I really like the overall like contour of the image, you know, the face mostly. I think it came out pretty nice. I was pretty stressed because when I do like digitally the side view I end up, you know, changing a lot of the things and the proportions and whatnot so they come out right. So yeah, and I kind of threw myself in the water there, but managed to you know swim myself out. Day twenty-eight. I think this one, this is one of like the images that I I like the most. How they came up, you know, this bunny girl. It's pretty clean. But the one thing that might be a bit off and might bother me would be the waist. I may have overdone it a bit too thin but all in all yeah I, I could just you know put this image in Photoshop adjust the levels a little bit and just color it with any other alterations uh, day 29 
a pretty simple pose again, nothing too super special. Uh, decide to keep the, the character clean of lines for the most part and uh, have like a very super simple outfit, you know. And I was, you know, again like with the previous one, I was starting to, you know, get the hang of the highlight thing, you know, to use that. Uh, actually did use the, the brush liner that I had to fill in the blacks because I didn't really use it that much, only for the hair in uh, some cases. So yeah, I, will, I wanted to you know use that and uh, experiment with it a little bit more. This is what came out day 30. This was like the day before the last day. I was super happy to you know just get this this image done again. Pretty simple, you know, pin up pose. Decided to keep it even more simple and just you know have a full like shiny dress on this lady, and then you know finish it up and go into day 31. Day 31 was Halloween so I decided to do this you know foxy girl you know in a witch outfit well you know bits and pieces of a witch outfit and she's riding like a broom and finally I had finished my Inktober. Hopefully next year I can be more diverse and uh, actually pick a theme because I see it very interesting and you know it's very important to kind of diversify things, you know, like a challenge. And uh, yeah, for now, this is what it is, you know, my first Inktober where uh, I actually did things. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna polish all these images, I'm gonna adjust the levels so they stand out a bit better, and I'm gonna post them out on. Uh, my DA and all the other places I post stuff on. So uh, until the the next uh, weekly drawing retrospective, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.